on site at the Tour of Oman and it's day two and everything has changed. Instead of Tim Mirliera, winner of stage one in the leader's jersey, today is Jesus Herrada, winner of the climb here at Kuriat and a new race leader. The climb 2.5 kilometers long. We saw a select group come out of that and we saw the Spaniard, Jesus Herrada from Team Kofidi, take glory here on the start line. Wind it back 174 kilometers, leaving Muscat to get here south of Muscat with the rocky landscape beautiful beaches off to my left and an amazing place to visit and a great place to race. Well, the escape of six riders, they held strong at 47 kilometers to go on the climb right here ahead of the final circuit. They had around two and a half minutes in play, but the escape, it was breaking apart and they weren't going to survive. In fact, the group behind caught them with around six and a half kilometers to go and the guys working for their GC leaders and the team, they got to the front and they started to work. We saw HE2R at the front, Sue Dahl, also Lotto Destiny doing work for their men. We saw Boro who was working for Emmanuel Bookman then in the final, we saw the red jerseys on this 2.5 kilometer climb, setting things up for 32 year old Harada. And you'll remember him, he's won two stages in the Vuelta España, including in last year's 2022 Vuelta España, coming to the line, but the group was still tightly packed. And hearing from some riders like Mateo Jorgensen, it was a pretty slow pace for much of the day, and only on the final climb did things light up, and that didn't work in Jorgensen's favor because those guys with the faster punch, like Ulisi, like Harada, we're still in there and it's Harada who opened things up. Maxime Van Gill's winner last year of the Saudi Tour overall followed him and then behind him it was Diego Ulisi also 32 years old and you look at Maxime Van Gill's 23 years old the same age as American Mateo Jorgensen riding for Movistar who finished in fourth place today a great result for the American looking to win the overall here at the Tour of Oman but now the overall classification if we're looking at the classification it's been completely split up and the top four positions well they're divided by the bonus seconds that you get on the finish line for winning stages like this 10 seconds six seconds and four seconds. So Jesus Herrada now leads by four seconds over second place, Maxime Van Gils. And you look further back to Mateo Jorgensen setting in fourth place overall. He trails by 10 seconds in the GC, but much is to play for because we're only in stage two of the five day stage race, including the final stage up Green Mountain. And tomorrow's stage, another kicker, another climb in this 2023 Tour of Oman. And today it's the King Jesus Herrada.